Welcome Pisces. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Got another video request. Okay. Um, I haven't done case of the X in a while. And I had someone email me and was like, hey, you know what happened to the case of the X? And I was like, you know what? Let's do it. Let's just, let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Y'all go ahead and click that like button on your way in. Go ahead and click that like button. Click smash, smash that like button guys. All right. Um, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Yes. Yes. Click that subscribe button. I would love to have you here to join our family. All right. Y'all, if this message resonates with you, y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. All right. So let's get it started. Let's start. Okay. Let's clear the energy first. Let's clear the energy. Let's find out about how the ex views you or feel about you, okay? And we're going to see if they want to reconcile, okay? So, <laughs> this is about to get really interesting. <laughs> All right, so, I'm going to pop it off with Pisces. Let's see. Let's get into it, okay? We'll ask the pendulum, you know, if they are wanting to reconcile, okay? But first, we're going to pop off. We're going to do a past, present, and future. Just so I can kind of get the energy, get a little bit of the energy and see what's what, okay? Click the like button, y'all. Click the like button. present and future energy for Pisces, how Pisces' ex views or feel about the Pisces, what happened in the past, how are they viewing Pisces presently, and how do they view or feel Pisces in the near future. And we'll see what action they're going to take as well. Okay, so let's do it. Past energy. Oh, Pisces, it looks like someone <laughs> was afraid to settle down. Wow, somebody's afraid to settle down. They play a lot, okay? Somebody plays a lot or they feel like you play a lot. And this is how they view you. So maybe they're viewing you as being kind of reckless right now and not wanting to settle down, okay? For some of you, this could be like a living arrangement. Maybe you guys lived together, you were married, um, but there was some type of, you know, home life situation here. Somebody felt like they got taken advantage of and somebody feels like somebody just broke free. Like they just ran loose. <laughs> they feel like you are just like, I'm getting like somebody was stuck and then like they had you trapped and then boom, you just bust out. <laughs> like a sword. Okay. Wow. Okay, so let's see what the present energy is. Goodness, Pisces. No, let's let's stay let's stay on the past energy for right now. Okay. Let me see what else, how else they feel. Okay, let's get down to it. Past energy. Show me past energy. How does Pisces X you Pisces past the past energy. Karmic relationship. Some, something here, okay, some of you may have been in a karmic relationship or someone may have just gotten out of a karmic relationship because I got the coffin card here, which is endings, okay? Um, somebody was having resentment. Somebody, you know, had to learn some lessons here, okay? So maybe they were trying to teach you a lesson, Pisces, okay? I'm getting that as well. Like, they were trying, possibly trying to teach you some type of lesson, 
Somebody most definitely was heartbroken, okay? But I'm getting that somebody got in a karmic relationship. I feel like it may have just recently ended with the coffin card there. But someone tried to teach you, they tried to teach you a lesson, okay? They're trying to teach you a lesson. Like, they felt like they had you trapped, pretty much. But I feel like you done broke free. Um, and <laughs> you probably running a little wild. You probably, they probably feel like you just out here wilding right now. Okay? So, maybe they're out dealing with the karmic. They're either dealing with the karmic right now. Or they are, they feel like you are dealing with a karmic. Okay? And I feel like they're they're holding resentment towards you as well. Wow. Okay, there may have been some issues with um, finances and career. They may feel like you're very focused with your finances and your career that you're not possibly paying them any attention because you're focused on your money. Okay. Keep an open mind. Okay. This could be the one. Hmm. I feel like they feel as if you're very focused on your career, your money, your bag. Okay. You in your bag. <laughs> and your soulmate may differ from your usual type of expectations. And you've already met the romantic partner you see. They, I feel like they feel still... For a lot of you that you could actually be the one okay but you have to be open-minded okay someone here has to be open-minded someone they may feel like you're a little closed-minded okay but if you were to open up more then things could have been you know a lot more better between you two i feel like maybe they feel like things were one-sided when in regards to your finances okay because they feel like you are solely about your finances and your career Okay. They wanted to reach out to you, okay? We got message. They have some type of message for you, okay? They want to talk to you about something. And maybe they just recently reached out to you or you reached out to them. Um, this is past energy. But we got message, okay? So I feel like they want to reach out to you and communicate with you. Let's see. Why is message here? King of Pentacles. For some of you, it could be a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Somebody is a little worried or whatever. King of Swords. And a Three of Cups. Somebody's worried about what somebody will think. If some of you are messaging a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Or Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It doesn't necessarily have to be that sign. But these two in particular are popping out. Somebody is waiting for some type of rekindle. Okay. Some type of coming together. Some type of um, some type of bond, connection. A, a moment to connect with you or you to them. Okay. So it looks like somebody reached out recently. Or is thinking about reaching out. All right, so let's see present energy, okay? Let's look in the present energy. I feel like you guys may have separated due to someone being, you know, focused more on their money and their finances and their career. Um, somebody ran off and they were dealing with the karmic or possibly is still dealing with the karmic, okay? So let's see what's going on presently. How do they view Pisces presently? I feel like they feel like you've given up. 
<laughs> I feel like they feel like you have given up. Like, I feel like they really feel like you're giving up. I feel like you haven't been showing them any emotion or there's like a lack of emotion. There's like a lack of them feeling like you care. Seven of Wands in reverse. Yeah, like you gave up. I feel like <laughs> they feel like you gave given up on them and they may feel like you are hiding something too as well. Why is the moon card here? Yeah, they feel like <laughs> there could be a Sagittarius involved as well as a Pisces or a Cancer. But I'm getting like, they just feel like you're hiding something, like you're talking to someone on the low and you're not opening up or being honest about your emotions. And they feel like you've given up on them. <laughs> Pisces. Y'all done gave up on the, on the, on the people. Yeah, see, look, separation. They feel like you, um, <laughs> they're missing you, okay? They're missing you. They're thinking, they are thinking about you, okay? But there's somebody has some options. Like I said, healthy choices. Hmm, why is healthy choices here? The golden mirror. They feel like you're self-absorbed too. Like things could have been one-sided. You're self-absorbed. <laughs> like you you making decisions for yourself and you're not including them. And it's because you guys are separated. Like they they I feel like they're sad and they miss you. Okay? They think about you. They're yearning for you. But I do feel like they feel like you made the best decision for yourself. Okay, and but they look at it in a negative light, kind of sort of like, oh, she's self, he or she is self absorbed, it didn't include me, you know. Um, this is a one sided, this was so one sided, they only love, they're only thinking about themselves. Okay, in a way, that's their way of saying that you look good, you're doing good without them. Okay, damn. We got listening, listening, high priestess of air, a fire sign, is there a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, that they're listening to, okay, they're listening to someone, maybe they're getting advice, or they feel like they're listening Following the crowd. They're trying to avoid something getting out too. A secret getting out. Why is the high priestess in the reverse? Okay, leaving this relationship. Walking away. They're trying to avoid you finding out something because they feel like you will completely leave. Like, you'll completely be done. I feel like they miss you, but they have some other stuff going on too, okay? And they're trying to avoid um, you finding something out because they feel like you'll walk away and be done. Wash your hands completely with this. For the ones that are still kind of hanging around. Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Because they know you'll be good without their ass. You're the, pretty much the queen of pentacles in their eyes. And see, look, they want to give this relationship a chance. Very soon, clearly decide what it is that you want so it comes to you now. So they do want to get this relationship a chance. Look, healing family issues, separation, reconciliation, 
Yeah, like they want to give this another chance. They want to give this another shot. Trust. There may be issues in regards to trust, okay? Because somebody flirts a lot. Somebody flirts. <laughs> somebody is a big time flirt. So there's trust issues with flirting with other people, you know, side side pieces, okay? Maybe this has happened in the past, and they're not sure if they can let their guard down, okay? Because somebody has control issues. Mm. Okay. So there's secrets here. I mean, if, I don't understand how there could be secrets if you guys aren't really even together, okay? This is the case of the ex. It seems like to me something they're still focused on you, okay? They still could be most definitely watching you, watching your social media, watching and seeing what you're doing, what type of moves that you're making, okay? So let's see what action are they going to take. Since they want to watch, let's see what action that they're going to take towards you. you guys the queen of cups king of swords so they're gonna be playing tough okay so, <laughs> they can't make up their mind if they they can't make up their mind like they got a lot of options why is the seven of cups here okay they're trying to balance their options out they're trying to balance out their options why is the two of cups here and the tower reversed they're avoiding, uh, they're trying to avoid a disaster. I feel like they feel as if they don't clear out all these other options, there could be something headed, like headed for disaster. Why is the tower in the reverse here? Yep, the world reverse. Somebody has unfinished business. They got unfinished business, okay? And I feel like there's an intruder as well, too. Seven of Wands in the reverse and the Queen and the Empress, okay? There could be, like, an intruder, somebody who's always in the, in the mix, okay? That's in the mix. That's intruding in on you guys', in you guys business, okay? Could be, like, a mother with the Empress card here. This is the mother card. Could be an aunt, a sister, um, a third party. But there's definitely, you know, someone that's trying to keep you guys apart. Okay, and it's like it's headed for disaster if he, if this person doesn't clear out all of these options and other things that's distracting them. Okay, why is the King of Swords here? They're trying to stay busy. Uh huh. They're trying to stay occupied. With all of these distractions in front of them, so they don't have to make a decision, okay? Because there's definitely someone who's trying to keep you guys apart from each other. Most definitely, for sure, for sure. But I still feel like they feel like it's unfinished business between y'all. But they're going to be playing. They're trying to keep their game face on by pretending like they're still busy, like they got so much going on. Um, but they're driving themselves crazy. Okay, they're driving themselves crazy. Hell, that's them. <laughs> Try yourself up a damn wall. <laughs> what action? Let's see. Deception. Someone is wearing a false mask here. Passion. These cards, like, flip over real quick for y'all. Very soon. Okay, so someone's going to be coming towards you very soon with an act of they wanting to bump and bump, 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 bump. Okay? But there's something about this situation that someone is wearing a false mask. I'm going to clarify this. Okay, something about something that they say. Something that they say, express your love. Why is deception here? A star card. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Why is deception here? 
they're hoping that you let your guard down and express your love to them. They want you to express yourself to them. Why are the nine of wands here? Yeah. Oh, they're hoping that you let your guard down because you're coming off as the strength card. Okay, so you're coming off as very, you know, like, uh, uh, you're coming off as very powerful. Okay, like you can control your emotions. Okay, they, that you have everything under control. They're hoping that you drop your guard and express your feelings and let them know if you want to heal this or not. Wow. Mine's a seven of wands in reverse here. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Mm -hmm. I'm getting that there possibly could be some type of um, coming together. Like you guys are going to rekindle in some way, shape, or form to have some fun, okay? To hang out, whatever, whatever. But I feel like they're going to be trying to get you in bed, okay? They're going to be trying to get you in bed, do a little bump, 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 bump it up, bump, bump. They're going to be trying to do a little bit of that. But they're hoping that that gets you to drop your guard, okay? They want you to drop your guard because they want you to be vulnerable towards them. That's what I'm getting as well. So it looks like the pendulum, we don't even need the pendulum to find out if they want to return because it most definitely does look like they want to return like they can't get enough of pisces let's see does pisces x want to return to pisces we got a yeah <laughs> I mean, that was quite obvious, okay? It looks like somebody still got some feelings here. Um, most definitely, okay? So, it looks like they can't get enough of you, Pisces. You got this person going in circles. Round and round I go. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> y'all let me know what's going on down there in the comment section. I'll chat with y'all later. Ciao.